Hello gorgeous people who love to scrap Smart from Australia I have two beautiful gorgeous altered bags here to share with you guys today in shabby chic tones I have created these quite a while ago but I'm always too busy to be sharing them with you guys so um, I'll be sharing them with you guys today the bags are the same size and I just purchased these from my local craft shop as you guys can see my hand there so it's about the same size as my hand so they're really beautiful gift bags and I just started off um, in like a craft color and I just you know used my acrylic paints and just went mad rubbing acrylic paint all over just to give it a beautiful shabby -shy look all over the paper bag um, on both of those um, this one here, uh, let's start off with this one here first. I had you also used a stencil on this one here, it's a doily stencil by Prima, and I used um, texture paste um, mixed with I think like a silvery pearly paint, and I had stencil um, it stenciled it onto the back of my paper bag here, and then once I have stenciled, um, I sprinkled it with um, glitter. As you guys can see, see glittery? It's really glittery and really beautiful. So that's how I created the front and also in random areas of um, the back, sorry, the back. And I have um, stencil texture paste on the front here also. This image is from my beautiful friend, uh, Marij Ki Van Ujin. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but I'll pop her Facebook link down below so that you guys can go and check out her amazing creations and I'll pop a link to her blog also she makes these beautiful teddy bears and I asked her permission to use these beautiful images and if you guys have been watching my vid um, I've altered a um, frame as well as a fabric journal in this color scheme as well as uh, using these beautiful bears from um, Marich Kim Van Ujun's, um blog and uh, really happy with how it's come out so that's the first bag so this image is printed on fabric and I zigzagged the edges and I put wadding um, at the back and then I just embellished it with beautiful laces and trims and some vintage lace from my stash and just some um, handmade and a handmade flower here using lace that I chopped into squares and then folded them and then this one here is a lace applique that I got off eBay and I just um, painted with acrylic paint and then I've gone over the top with uh, what is it iridescent medium to give it a beautiful sparkle and then I had spray not sprayed and uh, sprinkle glitter on top of that also to give it a really shabby look I use some sprays from my um, stash and I have um, used the iridescent medium with it also to give it a beautiful sparkly shine and there's an applique from my stash some bling from I think this is from One Little Dreamer, some appliques from my stash and some beautiful tattered um, fabric, some uh, word I printed out of um, my laptop, beautiful what butterfly applique there and just gathered some laces down the bottom here and I just hot glued some tool, I gathered some curtaining tool and I just hot glued that um, to the inside of my um, altered paper bag so I hope you guys can see how beautiful this paper bag is is really gorgeous so that's the first one the second one here is um, using uh, beautiful digital images from my besties uh, these are the my besties digital images of um, sherry I think it's sherry yes um, they are by sherry and baldy and these are the my besties digital images and i love 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 these digital images so much um i fell in love with them quite some time ago when they first came out um, on youtube with the first design team and i went on to the etsy store and purchased a whole heap of them they currently have a sale for, uh, with 25 percent off at the moment and i popped the link to um sherry and Bordy's, um etsy shop link as well as her Facebook link so that you guys can go and get the discount code, the coupon code to use because these I printed because I use distress um not a distress inkers to paint to color these images and with water I printed onto watercolor paper so that it doesn't bleed and I use the I think um I can't even remember which ink I use now archival in um 
jet black I think um, but I heat set that so that it, the ink really dries first and I wait a few hours before I actually color, color it so that it doesn't smudge um, the ink and it actually came out really well I used Dusty Concord, uh, Victorian Velvet and what's the other lilac color I can't remember now but it's the it's the lilac color like a really soft lilac and then I used Dusty Concord in like the darker purple tones there as you guys can see and she's colored using Victorian Velvet and I had stickled them also so they're really sparkly really girly and the hair is colored with antique linen uh, vintage photos and walnut stain the eyes are colored with a combination of crushed olive and what's that dark forest moss i think it is and the blue is what's the blue broken china in the eyes as you guys can see they're broken china dusty concord not dusty concord um crushed olive and what was the green i can't even remember forest moss a combination of those two to give a bit of color and contrast to the eyes uh, so the images came out really really beautiful that's how it is and um, I had hot glue that down but at the back here I had used some uh, paper the paper collection I use is by Marja Designs and it's the Vintage Summer Basics and I had used like a really shabby grey one and a, like a purple tone on top and up here is a beautiful darker purple on top here so I just staggered them into I just offset the paper onto this side so it kind of like sticks out uh, after I adhered the paper down two layers of paper I had um, stuck my image on and then just embellished with different laces and trims from my stash these um, flowers here are like an older collection of Prima flowers the leaves here are from Petaloo They're really beautiful the butterfly here is by Recollection also and these are just some flower sprays that I had in my stash but I had used my Lindy Stamp Gang and I can't remember which purple this is, but I had sprayed it with two kinds of purple. And the center, I had just dabbed it so that the center gives like a deeper, darker purple in the center there. So it's really beautiful. An acrylic flower that I had purchased from Xander Lee, I think that one there. And just some beautiful laces and trims from my stash. Some beautiful purple and pink seam binding. These are, um, this flower here is from the same collection as this one here by Prima. Some pink seam binding and some flourish bling from Recollection there. This one's from Craft Supplies one on Etsy as well as Zibert and here's a flower spray that I had purchased from um, Etsy also. I used this little flower trim down here. Uh, not flower trim, um, applique lace right here, some flower trim going across, some pearls from my stash that I just chomped up into four pieces and just hot glued them down. And at the back here is a doily. I used the um, Tim Holtz on the edge doily die in the same paper collection and I just hot glued that across here also to give it beautiful contrast and dimension and up here I've just tied some beautiful seam binding just draping across the edges there and I've just popped some beautiful sparkly organza fabric on the inside here and it, it you know creates a beautiful gift bag for that special friend that you have and you can put anything inside here so I hope you guys like my projects and um I'll be back to share more projects with you guys shortly. Love you guys. Bye.